I can't get out. I'm stuck. What's going on, YouTube? Two wheel menace coming at you. Got ourselves a little bike ride tonight. I'm joined by a couple of the moto vloggers here out in Utah. First one is. Well, I can't really say this, but I don't know how to, how he wants to pronounce it. But I just call him Toot Sweets. And the other one we got out here, the one and only Heathen Rider. We're gonna go ahead and go into a little, uh, little canyon ride and everything. I got a couple things to talk about. I haven't been on in a, in a little bit. There goes old Heathen Rider right there. You're going to have to wait, lady. can hear me still. I don't know how the mic's going to go ahead and not pick it up. Like I said, I got a, got a couple things to talk about. Uh, bumpy roads, first off, suck. So, I haven't been out here riding lately for a little over, a little over a week now. Uh, the reason is because I took myself a little trip down to San Antonio. Uh, uh, so I actually went and got LASIK done down in San Antonio. And it's been about a week. Actually, a, yeah, a week to the day that I actually got LASIK done. And uh, I have to say, my vision is perfect. I don't have to wear glasses anymore. I, I, it's just awesome. I can see everything. Everything's great. If I had to recommend LASIK and you're able to do it, if you're if you're on the border of it, I'd say do it. I absolutely say do it. I'd do it again. Yeah, because uh, people will think that. You're, you're getting your eye cut open and everything, which, you know, kind of essentially, yeah, you are, but uh, you're not. Oh, okay, yeah, you are. Yeah, all it is is just like the, the flap of the cornea getting open up so that way the legs can go in there. Also, it has a better recovery time than a uh, PRK would. You know, people say that, you know, your eyes hurt and everything afterwards. Yeah. Okay, after, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. After the uh, numbing drops wore off, which is roughly about an hour after the surgery's done, which, by the way, the surgery only takes like five minutes to do. Then, yeah, you're gonna start feeling some pain. And the way that I can best describe that type of pain is like sandpaper, somebody taking sandpaper on your eye. That's kind of the best way I can describe that pain. But during that hour you want to fucking just rub your eyes and, and do everything, but then you got to realize you can't do that. Like, I want to rub my eyes. I want to rub them, but I can't. <laughs> my eyes, I rubbed them a little bit, and they tell you not to do like the forceful blinking and everything like that, because I could dislodge it too. I did that because it just hurts so much. Okay, I'm, oh, okay. Maybe not so much, but it did hurt a little bit. 
I wouldn't say it's the worst pain. It's just a, like an annoying pain. It's almost like a tattoo, I guess. But that's like, if you want to compare it to something, Take some photos. There's some long ass wheelie stands up there. Oh, that's two sweets. Let's see if we get to say hi. Say hi! <laughs> we got him. Um, oh, yeah. Also, two sweets. Uh, he wants to do like a, a dual vlog, which I'll do a dual vlog, but I mean, I gotta get a Cena first. That's what I don't have yet. Once I get that Cena, we'll definitely do a duel. Uh, back to what I was saying about eye surgery. Definitely do it. If you have the money to, or if you're like me in the like me in the Air Force, then the Air Force pays for your surgery. <laughs> you just gotta go to you just gotta go to them basically. But I think it's definitely worth it. Definitely. And then after the surgery's all done, they'll give you like a, they'll give you a couple, like, uh, like, like a steroid drops and antibiotic drops. So like if you've ever had pink eye, I guess that is the same antibiotic drop. And that is like a little white too. I don't fucking know. But uh, it's pretty awesome. They burn a little bit, but that's because your your eye is healing. That's the only reason why they're burning. And then you're you're really sensitive to sunlight afterwards. So like me, I got my chrome tinted visor, and I've got my sunglasses on underneath it. I think that I would think that uh, I'd be a little more sensitive to sunlight, but I'm not. I mean, yeah, it hurts going outside sometimes in the middle of the day when it's, you know, sun blazing on you. So, another thing I want to touch on while I'm speeding through this fucking canyon is, uh... It's probably... One of the uh, riders, I'm not going to specify man or woman, uh, ended up beefing it on this, uh, on this, uh, this road somewhere. I don't know where I wasn't with them, but, like, that person is alive because of their helmet. So helmets do in fact save lives and this person had no broken bones, internal injuries, and I guess this person was going at a, a pretty good speed when they crashed. But I guess the good thing is that person landed in a like dirt and grass field, not really rocks. <clears throat> So yeah, it's all about knowing your limits. Because from what I'm told, this person was probably outdoing their own limit. Oh, it is dark out. It is dark as fuck outside right now. And the only reason it is, like I was saying before, Oh. Ride your ride and wear your gear. Oh, we just had a rider go down right in front of me. I'm not going to show that video for the safety of not only himself but of me. You have to ride your own ride. 
know your limits. Like right now, I'm going slow as fuck through this because it's dark as fuck, and I have a tint and I have myself a tinted visor on right now. I can, I can't see that well. I mean, I can see, but not that well. <laughs> he ended up low siding on some gravel, and it ended up pushing him out. At least the bike, so the bike didn't hit him. But uh, he got some pretty good road rash. Busted up knee. Doesn't look like it's broken, it just looks like it just tore the skin. So, I mean, I know I, I, I wish him, you know, a speedy recovery and everything. Get that, get that bike up and running again. And surprisingly enough, for a low side, the bike also f flipped over. For the most part, it ain't that bad. The major parts on his bike that were messed up that I saw were the, uh, obviously the gas tank and like the driver headlight fairing. I think I'm the only one that decided to go down this way. Only because I basically live right outside this canyon. So right now I'm doing something that I really shouldn't be doing. Is I don't have anything protecting my eyes, so it's just all windy. If anything, if any dust or anything comes up, one lane road. I really hope they're not getting construction right now. But I mean, this guy's a trooper right after a crab before I could even get up to him and stop. He's already standing up and walking it off. And then we told him to lay down because of his knee. Like I said, I'm not gonna post the video at all because I got it on video, but I'm not going to post it. Until this all blows over from everything. And even then, I'm still probably not going to because it can always come back. Yeah, all I gotta say is be safe out there, guys. You never know what's gonna happen. And with that, I'm at a red light, so I'm not going to vlog anymore. I'm going to call. Oh, I'm hiccuping too. I'm going to call it a night. And don't forget to like and subscribe, please. I'll be getting back into it again now that I'm back home. Peace out, guys.